Hello all, my name is Sumit Maheshwari, a research scholar from University of Delhi. Today in this particular video, we will be discussing the most fundamental things of statistics for data science domain. Data science and machine learning is the hardest job of the 21st century with an average salary of $150,000 per year according to LinkedIn data. But you need to have a good command on statistics if you want to become a data scientist. With the help of statistics, you can make prediction easily. Today we will focus on the main topic of statistics for data science domain. Uh, one more thing, we will discuss all these topics in details in our upcoming videos. You can check out our social media handles to the latest updates regarding the video lectures and for the e-notes. We provide free e-notes for the data science as well as the statistics paper. The, today we will discuss these topics, statistics feature, probability distribution, dimensionality reduction, sampling theory, Bayesian statistics, distribution choice, component of data scientist, and last is the parametric and non-parametric test. The first thing is the statistics features. Statistics can be a powerful tool when performing the art of data science. From a high level view, statistics is the use of mathematics to perform the technical analysis of the data. A basic visualization such as bar chart might give you some high level information. But with statistics, we get to operate on the data in a much more information driven and targeted way. The first is statistical features. You can say statistics features. Statistical features is probably the most used statistics concept in data science. Without statistics, you cannot perform any, any results in data science domain. It's often the first stats technique you would apply when exploring a data set and includes things like wise, variance, mean, median, percentile and many other things. The second is the probability distribution. Probability of any event is the percentage of that event will occur. In data science domain, it is commonly quantified that the range of the probability from 0 to 1. Where 0 means we are certain that the things will not be occur and 1 means the things will occur. In this, a probability distribution is then a function which represents the probability of all possible values in the experiment. In the statistics, there are two types of probability distribution. First is discrete and second is continuous. You can see all the discrete and continuous distribution. The three most commonly used distribution in the data science domain is the normal distribution, Poisson distribution and the uniform distribution. Uh, uniform distribution is the most basic of the three distribution. It has a single value, uh, it has a single value which only occur in a certain range while anything outside the range is just zero. It is very much an on or off distribution. On the other hand, in normal distribution, we commonly referred as the Gaussian distribution, which is especially focused on the its mean and standard deviation. The mean value shift from the distribution, the mean, the mean value shift the distribution, especially the and the standard derivation control the spread. The 
the third is the poison distribution poison distribution is similar to the normal distribution but uh, this distribution added a factor of skewness there are many more distribution that can be dive deep into what there are only three distribution which gives us a lot of value if we see a gaussian distribution that is the normal distribution uh, we know that there are many algorithm that are that by default will perform the perform bell especially with the normal so we should go for those uh, and with the poison we will see that the we have to take special care and choose an algorithm we have to one more thing we have to choose an algorithm in poison distribution that is robust to the variation in the spatial spread the third is dimensionality reduction now we have a data sets and we would like to reduce the number of dimensions it has in data science this is the number of features variable uh, you can you can see the different dimensions in the figure three dimension two dimension one dimension the fourth is the sampling theory in sampling theory over and under sampling are the techniques used for classification problem sometimes our classification data sets might be too heavily tipped to one side for example uh, you can see in the in these two figures under sampling and over sampling uh, for example we have 2000 samples for a class 1 but only we have only only two, 200 for class 2 and there is a big difference between class 1 and class 2 samples that will throw off a lot of machine learning techniques we try and use to model the data and make predictions our over and under sampling can compact that you can see in this graph under sampling samples of majority classes over sampling you can see in the orange color copies of minority class that is the class 1 for 2000 samples and class 2 for 200 samples the first the fire the, on the fifth terms is the bayesian statistics why we why we why we need to understand the bayesian statistics fully understanding why we use why we use bayesian statistics require us to first understand where frequency statistics fail frequency statistics is the type of stats that most people think about when they hear the word probability it involves applying match to analyze the probability of some event occurring where specifically the only data we compute in prior uh, let's uh, look an example suppose i gave a uh, suppose i gave you a die and ask you what were the chance of you rolling a rolling a six most of the people will say that it's one in six indeed if we were to do a frequency analysis we we would like to at some data where someone rolled a die in at 10,000 to 20,000 times and compute the frequency of each roll it would roughly came out one came out to one in six think about this the wage theorem plays a vital role in the field of data science The six is the distributional choices. Uh, the term, the term distributional choice, came where the data is discrete or continuous. If our data is discrete, you can estimate outcomes and probability. But our data is continuous, uh, then we have to check out the data whether the data is symmetric or asymmetric. In further we classified data yes or no and this flow chart will give you the clear picture to understand where we need to apply which distribution 
to gain more insights from the data sets the seventh is the component of data scientist component of data science basically there are five, com five components first is data second big data third machine learning fourth start six fifth is programming language uh, one more thing start six and programming language are the backbone of any data scientist without any do these two subjects you cannot be a data scientist and the eighth is parametric and non-parametric test in our upcoming videos we will provide all these topics in the details with the suitable examples and try to with the suitable example and these are our social media handles to you can follow these our social media handles for e notes and the latest updates thank you for watching this video if you have any query you can write an email for further process once again thank you